folks, it's Nick and Mitch. Hello. We've just come out of watching Killers and it's a definite uh, death-filled note thrill ride. What he said? Literally. Uh, the movie is undersold. It actually is better than what we expected. Ashton Kutcher plays lead agent uh, role in the movie. Catherine Heigl, his wife. And then you have the supporting actors Tom Selleck and Catherine O'Hara. Catherine O'Hara was with the SCTV group here in Canada and Tom Selleck, you all know him from his old Magnum P.I. days and also from his friends appearances where he was dating one of the girls. Uh, uh, not Jennifer Aniston, uh, Courtney Cox. Courtney Cox, yeah. It's strange, there's two movies we've seen in one day and both have been... Excellent. Excellent, but they're, the trailers don't sell them right. They don't... This one was showed up as a rom-com. It was more action than romance. Than kind of romance. Yep. And Splice was was marketed as a horror film, but it's not. Not really. Yep. Now, the reason why we're saying it's more than a romance comedy is because this particular movie is more 10% romance, and, and then the rest, action. the half and half comedy and action. It's more like watching Jackie Chan in uh, his uh, two movies with. Uh, Chris Rock. Is it Chris Rock? Uh, Anyways, it's uh, the, the two movies that he did, like Shanghai Noon and the Shanghai Nights. A little yeah, bit like that. Yeah, but that was with the, uh, someone else. Yeah, that was, well, I know, but it's similar to it. You know what you mean. Yeah, but that said, you need to go see it. Or at least wait until it comes out on rental if you're not big on these. But it actually offers a lot for uh, both men and women. But for the women, there's romance. Uh, there's a sexual innuendo thrown into it just for the uh, good measure of it. And for men, well, there's lots of action. Lots of guns. <laughs> and lots of car chases, actually, for funnily enough. Uh, we absolutely, absolutely enjoyed it. And he's looking at his hands. Are you okay? You just warm. Okay. And, well, that's pretty much it. We have nothing to say. We're going to let you take the decision for yourselves, except from me and... Mitch, we're giving you both two thumbs up for the movie. Uh, I wouldn't say that it's an absolute must rush, must not miss in theaters because you won't gain any benefit from the sound. It'll be exactly the same on DVD at home. Uh, but the going on a packed night for us was a definite change because it was almost a full house. There was probably only 10 or 20 seats left sparsed all across the theater. Yeah, and uh, we. The, seat, the seating here is very, very narrow, very uncomfortable. We pretended someone was sitting in between us, and I, I turned away about half a dozen people. Is this seat taken? Yes! Yes. And if you want to judge us as rat bastards when it comes to it, please do so. We will not hold any grudges. We stand firm on our beliefs that when we want to be comfortable, we will be comfortable. And please, please oh please, don't text, don't talk, don't phone. Turn off your phones when you go into a movie theater. For the love of God and for the love of the other patrons who paid hard-earned money to actually watch the flick, please don't clear them out. Because if you do continue, we all know where you live. <laughs> we wish. No, it's just that for us it's very uncomfortable. It's very, very unfair and it's very not logical. Um, Unfortunately, I had to tell a mother that she needed to shut off her phone now. After I did that, she told me that she was checking on her son. And I looked at her and straight-faced told her, I don't give a rat's ass. I'm sorry, if you do need to check on cell phones, if you need to use texting, get up, get out, keep the phone hidden from people so we don't get to see it. Because I don't pay premium prices for a movie to get glare in my face, taking away pleasure from watching the movie. Neither does Mitch. This is true. And we've considered many, many ways of getting people to fuck off. But the uh, portable e uh, EMP uh, gun has not been invented yet, and if it does, it's not legal for me to carry. So I can't exactly just fry your, like, the electronics of people who are annoying me. Uh, I've considered buying a baseball gum, chewing up a huge wad, and chucking at people, but I'd probably get my teeth knocked out, and that's not covered by my dental plan. Yeah. 
Although I would enjoy watching some sh some schmuck with a with a rigging iPhone. And for example, I'd be, I'd be aiming for the iPhone, but I'd probably miss it to hit him in the head with a with a gub of gum about ye big, the size of an apple, stuck in his hair. I'd get some pleasure from that. Yeah. So folks, go watch the movie. Have a nice one. And remember, the special hell is for two kinds of people. Child molesters and people who text and talk in theaters. <laughs>